Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Detail Don. Thanks for tuning in again. If you clicked on the video, you already know the final month of the year is upon us. This is the Air Jordan Retro December 2020 releases. Let's jump into it, man. I'ma pull up at midnight. I'ma get that kid right. Happy holidays to everybody out there. Man, thank you so much for tuning back in. You already know we're going to go through all the releases dropping in December. Today's December 3rd. The first one drops tomorrow, December 4th. It's a Friday. And we're just going to start and we're going to roll right into it. It's going to be the Air Jordan 8 Burgundy. I mean, that's the color. So, man, this this sneaker is, is a clean sneaker. It's a women's release, so get your women's sizes ready. If you guys are trying to hit on the sneakers app tomorrow or if you're trying to just hit on Foot Locker, Foot Action, whatever it is. These are coming out tomorrow, as I mentioned, Friday, December 4th, for a retail price of $190. I love the color blocking on this sneaker. I just don't like the color of burgundy. It's not one of my favorite colors to rock with. So, I do like the sneaker in general. I like the color blocking. I like the materials. The materials, the leather they use looks pretty smooth. So, if I had the chance to get it in hand and do a review for you guys, I definitely will. But it's definitely something I'm not going to be going after. Um, there's a lot of releases coming out in December. And if you guys know, I am in the process of moving. So hopefully that happens before 2020 is over. And you guys see a new venue and a new place where we're going to be doing videos from 2021 and moving forward. I want to thank everybody who's continuing to support. We're on the way to 300 subscribers. We will get there soon. I think we're like less than 10 away. Next one is going to be an Air Jordan 9. And that's set to release on this Saturday. So in two days, this one is a university blue. So you already know we get in them UNC color, them UNC vibes, the college years of Michael Jordan vibes. Again, OG color blocking. I love the color blocking on this one. I do rock with the baby blue, the UNC blue. I mess with the Tar Heels. They, they are all right in basketball. You know, MJ went there. So I watch them every now and then. The Air Jordan 9 itself, eh, not, not my cup of tea, man. It's a good looking shoe. It just reminds me too much of baseball and Michael Jordan when he left the game and went to baseball. And really, this one got a lot of glitter on it. I did hit on finish line, so the review will be coming later this weekend. Stay tuned for that. The glitter on it and just the fact that it's the Air Jordan 9, it just doesn't do it for me, man. So it's definitely going to be a pass for me as well so we're passing on the first two this month it's okay though because we're probably going to end it pretty well <laughs> moving on to the next release it's the most hype release of december and i'm not talking about the jubilees i'm talking about the j balvin air jordan one it's been like 10 months that we've been seeing the sneaker since we saw him perform in him at the super bowl last year so man sneaker is Hella funky, got hella crazy colors. Your boy can't do the pink midsole. I can't do the pink midsole. I'm sorry. If I cop it, it's going to my wife. Um, my wife really, actually, really, really wants this pair. Um, so I am gonna try to hit on her size and sneakers app. If I do hit, definitely bring in the reviews to you guys. That Air Jordan One J Balvin is dropping for $190 as well. So everything that we've gone over so far is dropping for $190. That's a pretty smooth and cool price point, especially for the holidays. So keep that in mind when you guys are thinking about which pairs you're going after this month. Um, this Air Jordan 1 J Balvin is self-explanatory. You guys see it. Like I said, pink midsole. The only thing I really, really do like about it, it comes with like these little extra patches that are, are replaceable on the Air Jordan 1. That I, that I thought was pretty cool and pretty neat. Um, so not my cup of tea. Pass for me, but a cop for the wifey if I'm able to get them. Moving on to, in my personal opinion, my 
personal hype favorite of the month and it's a lot of people out there it's their favorite of the month as well and that's going to be the air jordan 11 jubilee and that one is scheduled to release on 12 12 12 12 25th anniversary they retailing this one for 220 and i love everything about this shoe man from the jordan stitching on the side of it which like was kind of a a sample of the dmp 11s from back in the day like i guess they're paying homage to that kind of stuff but 25 years air jordan 11 has been making noise for the last 15 years it's, yeah i would say about 15 years ever since they the mall incidents were happening and people was getting knifed and shot and all crazy stuff for these jordan 11s when they came out like 15 years ago during the holiday season and it is the holiday season again, so it's like kind of a trademark for Jordan brand to drop a pair of Air Jordan 11s in a full family size run so that everybody is rocking something fresh for Christmas. As I mentioned, this pair is retailing for a retail price of $220. That's nothing for me. I'm definitely grabbing them. I wish I would have hit on the shock drop earlier. I wish I would have got early access. I wish all that stuff, but I didn't. So we don't have to wait till we get there to get that review unless I come across somebody who could plug me for the... For the low, for, you know, your boy moving. So I ain't, I ain't trying to spend any excess cash if I'm not necessarily going to wear it right this moment. And that pair, when I get it, I won't be wearing right this moment. That one, definitely a cop for me. Moving on to the next release, which is going to be on 1218. It's going to be an Air Jordan 13. And you know your boy loves Air Jordan 13s. So I'm probably just as hype about this release as I am about the Jubilee. Um, this one is not like 100% confirmed. Because I would, I say things aren't a hundred percent, a hundred percent confirmed until it pop up on that sneakers app. Because once that on the sneakers app, then you know it's coming out for sure. Um, this Air Jordan 13 is coming in a hyper royal colorway, and hyper royal. We heard those. We've been getting a lot of royal, hyper royal, royal this and royal that this season, man. If you guys can notice back here, I got. I'm I'm getting ready for the end of the year. The top five Air Jordan retros in my collection for the end of the year that i picked up in 2020 so y'all stay tuned for that video probably gonna drop in a week or two but i'm getting ready for that but if you guys can see behind me here there's a lot of air jordan retros that came out in the royal color this year so this air jordan 13 hyper royal is set to release on 12 18 and it's retailing for 190 dollars definitely a must cop for your boy I love Air Jordan 13s. I've been copping a lot of blue sneakers, which I usually don't do, but I guess 2020 is the year of the blue. So we're going to rack up on that one. The OG vibe on it because they got the OG blocking with the um, black on the mid panel and blue suede on the on the lower mid, mid portion. Um, so it's a classic OG retro feel for me. Definitely a cop for me. Moving on to the next one. It's going to be... Not the last one, but the last one that probably is in the range of people that are actually trying to grab this shoe. Um, you'll see what I mean when I get to the last shoe. But this one right here is going to be the Air Jordan 12 alternate flu game. And that one is set to release the day after Christmas, the 26th of December. So if you didn't get your Christmas present, if Christmas comes and goes and you didn't find what you was looking for, but you were looking for the alternate flu games, sneakers out. Jordan Brand got you on lock. Foot Locker, Foot Action, I'm pretty sure it's going to be pretty wide general release. I love the colorway. I love the color blocking. It's a beautiful sneaker. I just can't do the whole suede and new book of the shoe. It's just not my, it's not me. Like, I, I live in Miami. It rains a lot. It's not, it's not going to work out for me. But black and red sneaker, it's going to be hard for me to pass on this one. So, for right now, I'm going to say pass on it. We'll see. As we get closer to Christmas, if I see it in hand and it's really, really low cut, maybe I might grab it. But Air Jordan 12s, not really my favorite, favorite silhouette. So really the only reason I'd be going after is because it's black and red um, and it's alternate flu game. We've been getting a lot of alternates this year as well, guys. So y'all stay tuned for the top five and, you know, basically the end of the year video that I'm going to be dropping in about a week or two. The last sneaker we're going to go over today that's going to be dropping in December, it's going to be dropping on the 30th of December, 
and that's going to be the Air Jordan 11 Adapt. Retailing for 500 bucks. So, yeah, that's why I, if it wasn't the last sneaker releasing in the month, I would have put it last because there's not really much to say about it. Unless it comes with a hoverboard itself, I'm not paying $500 retail for a sneaker. So, y'all get ready if you're trying to grab this sneaker because retail is $500. So, you, mean, you already know that resale going to be 1000 up. A thousand if you're lucky, I would say, because the shoe's laced itself. So, pretty dope sneaker, awesome sneaker. Technology's on point, top of the line, futuristic. Love it, but I'm not paying 500 bucks. No way, buddy. I might barely spend 500 bucks in the two or three shoes that I'm gonna buy right here in, in December. So, not nah, can't do it on one pair. No, nope, I don't care. I love Back to the Future, but I don't love it that much. That leads us to the end of the video. I appreciate all y'all tuning in and rocking with me throughout this whole entire year, all the way from the end of last year when we started this channel, when we reviewed the first pair of Air Jordan 4 What Does and the Air Jordan 1 Bloodline. We didn't came a long way, man. I salute everybody who's been rocking with me, tuning in every time I drop a video. It means a lot, man. We only got a couple videos left for the year. Hopefully, I'll get to do one in my new house before the year's over. If not, You'll see plenty and plenty of it in 2021, 2022, and beyond. Join the 300 subscriber giveaway, man. It's free. You get some free detailed Don stuff. Might win a $100 gift card. Join up, man. Y'all know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Drop a comment below. Let me know. Which pair are you going after this month? Let me know which pair. You already know. I'm definitely copping the Jubilees. I'm definitely copping the Hyper Royals. We'll see how the alternate flu games get when we get there. It's your boy Detail Don. Peace.